In the last video, we looked at our clone union, the command that you can use to merge multiple remotes into one. This time we're going to be looking at combine. Instead of merging all of our remotes into one in their buckets, we're simply going to make a new remote and put those remotes into their own subfolders. I'm going to do our clone LSD on my S3 to show you what buckets we have there. And then I'll be doing an LSD on B2 for backblaze to show you what I have going on in there. So let's go ahead and combine the two remotes. We'll do our clone config and we'll do new and I'll call it clouds. And we want to look for combine in this list, which is going to be option 11 or just type combine. Put 11. And next we need to specify our folders. So I'm going to create a folder one and put my S3 content in there. So folder one is going to be equal to the S3 remote. And I'll show you, you can modify this to put subdirectories but to make this simple. Folder one is going to be equal to my Amazon S3 remote and folder two is going to be equal to my B2 remote. So I'll hit enter. We're going to save these changes, clear, and now let's do an LSD on clouds. We have folder one and folder two. Let's do LSD on folder one. And we see the contents of folder one, which is basically our S3 remote. And then for folder two, we'll see everything in B2. We can also look inside of these folders. How about let's look inside of folder two, Dre NAS, and we get the contents of there. Let's clear the screen. So this is a really nice way to combine multiple remotes into one. And then you can do things such as mount. Let's go ahead and mount this or we'll mount clouds into a folder called clouds. And when we open this up, we have folder one and folder two. If I open this up. We got our Amazon stuff in folder one. We got our B2 backblade stuff in folder two. And we can go ahead and play with these files and modify them, add and change however we like. But I'd like to show you how to modify this with subfolders. Let's clear the screen here. Let's do our clone config. And we're going to modify this. I'm going to do edit on clouds and we're going to just change the upstream since what I'm going to do is with folder one, I'm going to change it instead of being the root of the Amazon S3, I'm going to give it a subfolder on Amazon S3. I have a bucket called Drake query and I'm going to make that the subfolder for folder one. So we'll set that to Drake query bucket and then folder two is going to remain equal to B2. If you wanted to add an additional subfolder from here, such as public or private, we could also do that, but it's just going to be Drake query. Save these configurations. Let's go ahead and do LSD on clouds again. Folder two or folder one. And we have our private and public folders in folder one and then in folder two still has our backblaze stuff.